Let's talk about Fast Five for a second, because I caught some flack last week for recommending it, but I am sticking by that recommendation, because that movie is crazy stupid fun. The first half hour and the last half hour are just top-notch killer action, and everything in between is hilarious, mostly because it is entirely pointless. For instance, there is a 20-minute sequence in the middle where they're trying to figure out how to drive a car fast enough to get past this high-tech surveillance camera. So they do a mock-up of this curve, they go out, they steal some cars, they drive around in a circle, and they can't beat it, they fail. So they go out, they steal more cars, they drive around in a circle, they still can't beat the surveillance camera. Everybody gets a turn. This goes on and on and on and on, and then somebody nonchalantly wishes, ah, I wish we had an invisible car, that would solve all our problems. And then a light bulb goes off in Vin Diesel's head, which I had no idea that he even had a light bulb in his head, and he says, oh my god, why don't we just use cop cars since we're robbing a police station? Great, okay, so the last 20 minutes was just wasted on people driving around in circles. So, it doesn't end there. They go to this police station with this high-tech surveillance equipment. They hop a fence and they steal four cop cars. Oh, okay. Then, it's not over. Then they take these four cop cars, which they have just stolen, and ride them down the streets of Rio. But not just riding them, they race. And fast. After they just stole them. Again, pointless. <laughs> and on top of that, all of that subplot of the surveillance camera thing doesn't even matter because they just drive a big-ass truck through the front door anyway. That's it. But obviously, obviously, all that stuff, while pointless, is fun to watch. And that movie's really just about two cars driving a big-ass safe through the streets of Rio, destroying buildings and people and bridges and God knows what. And it's also about The Rock and Vin Diesel, two giant, massive human beings fighting each other. And it looks something <laughs> like this. Just, just a meaty battle. Ugh. But you know, if it weren't for The Rock here, this movie would not be nearly as entertaining because Paul Walker and Vin Diesel, after all this time, got some meat on my face. That was gross. Uh, after all this time, these guys still don't know how to act. But luckily with Fast Five, they buoy their leaden performances with charisma from The Rock, Tyrese, Ludacris, uh, the guy from Tokyo Drift, and it really just makes this movie a ton of fun. And it is, even if it's pointless, never boring. So, I got meat hands. I'll be right back. Ugh.